Hi, I am Dr. Sakib Mansoor from my channel Learning Anatomy. And uh, today I will discuss with you the happy hormone. So yes, happiness is a state of joy. And I have to discuss what are the chemicals responsible for the happiness and how to enhance the chemical and be more happy. And uh, these are the list of um, happiness hormones in a summary that I will uh, discuss at the end of the lecture. And uh, happy hormones. Hormones are chemicals that are produced by various glands across the body. They travel via the bloodstream and act as messengers and play a role in many body processes. One of these important functions is to help regulate the mood. Some hormones help to promote positive feelings, including pleasure and happiness. These happy hormones are listed below. So number one, are dopamine, two, serotonin, then oxytocin, number four, endorphins. So let's talk about briefly first uh, dopamine. It is also called the feel good hormone and is a hormone and neurotransmitter that is an integral part of our brain's reward system. Dopamine is linked to pleasurable sensations, satisfaction, and motivation, memory, learning concentration, sleep, and motor system function, and much more. Number two, serotonin. This hormone and neurotransmitter helps regulate your mood as well as your sleep, appetite, digestion, learning ability, memory, mood, and emotions. Then the oxytocin, often known as the love hormone, it is necessary for childbirth, that is labor, and breastfeeding lactation and strong child parent bonding oxytocin also helps promote empathy trust and bonding in the relationships and levels of oxytocin generally increase with physical affection for example cuddling kissing and sex endorphins these are our body's natural pain reliever and these are produced in response to discomfort or stress Levels of endorphins also tend to elevate when we engage ourselves in reward-producing activities like working out, eating, or having sex. So let's discuss how to increase these levels and get more happier. Let's discuss, right? So natural mood boosters can how be increased. So in general, this is a discussion, right? So, so first of all, we'll uh, look at the serotonin levels, how to increase them, and then for endorphins. The uh, first uh, act is the spending time outdoors in sunlight is a great way to do this, to increase the serotonin and endorphins. Exposure to sunlight increases production of both the serotonin and endorphins. Uh, we have to begin with minimum of 10 to 15 minutes outside every day. If you get uh, tired of same old sites, explore a new neighborhood or a park. Exercise. Exercise has various physical health benefits. It also has a positive impact on the emotional well-being. We know a runner's high, uh, depicting about the link between exercise and endorphin release. But exercise does not just work on the endorphins. Regular physical activity increases the, our serotonin and dopamine levels. That makes it a great means to boost our happiness hormones, right? So increase workout. To make exercise more beneficial, include some friends. A study suggests group exercises offer more benefits than solo exercise. Get some fun. Take your workout outdoors to gain maximum serotonin boost. Time it. Aim at minimum of 30 minutes of aerobic exercise at a time. Any amount of the physical activity is beneficial for health, but research shows release of endorphin with continued exercise instead of short bursts of activity. Right? In recent years, two compounds having morphine-like actions and endorphins. These are the opioid peptides and encephalines. Encephalines are also opioid peptides have been uh, detected in the CNS. These compounds and serotonin act as neurotransmitters in the analgesic system of the brain and then can inhibit the substance P release in the posterior gray column of the spinal cord. 
and the serotonin no it's a little bit detailed uh, discussion of the each uh, happy hormone right serotonin 5 hydroxytryptamine 5 hydroxytryptamine or serotonin is a neurotransmitter substance a monoamine present in analgesic system it is an endolamine characteristics it may be identified by its marker tryptophan hydroxylase it plays a vital role to influence sensory perception emotion arousal and higher cognitive functions the serotonin hypothesis says that decreased 5 hydroxytryptamine activity causes reduced levels of catecholamines to elicit depression and elevated levels of 5 hydroxytryptamine elicit mania this function of uh, serotonin underlies obsessive compulsive disorder tricyclic antidepressants and fluoxetine enhance 5 ht available availability for reducing its reuptake so serotonin its major serotonergic pathways 5 neurons are present only in the raphe nuclei of brain stem Raphe nuclei get projected diffusely to the whole CNS. Number one, Raphe nuclei of the medulla get projected to the posterior horns of the spinal cord. Raphe nuclei of the pons get projected to the spinal cord and the cerebellum. And the Raphe nuclei of the midbrain get projected to the widespread areas of the diencephalon and telencephalon, including striatum. Number C is the pineal gland, epiphysis cerebri. The highest concentration of serotonin in the body, that is in the CNS, is found in the pineal gland. The gland contains pineoleocytes that convert serotonin to melatonin. Synthesis and removal of the serotonin. Serotonin does not cross blood-brain barrier. Very important. So uh, brain cells have to synthesize their own serotonin. Dietary tryptophan serves as a substrate for serotonin synthesis. Plasma tryptophan makes entry into the brain by an active optic process and gets hydroxylated by a tryptophan hydroxylase to make 5-hydroxytryptophan that gets immediately decarboxylated by aromat aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase to make serotonin. This is a biochemistry. Of course, we are talking about the anatomical aspects because this is an anatomy channel, learning anatomy synthesis and the removal of the serotonin. Then serotonin is actively taken up through vesicular monoamine transporter and is stored in the vesicles where it is now ready for release. After the release, the serotonin gets removed from the synaptic cleft by a mechanism of reuptake and metabolism. Reuptake consists of entry of serotonin into the neuronal terminals by an inactive transport via the plasma membrane serotonin the transporter proteins SERT. Metabolism comprises deamination of serotonin by MAO monoamine uh, inhibitors, oxidase inhibitors. So to form 5 hydroxy indole acetyl aldehyde. 5 hydroxy indole acetaldehyde which then gets oxidized by the aldehyde rehydroxygenase to form 5-hydroxyindole acetic acid. The latter gets excreted through urine. So synthesis and removal continues. Researches show that most of the 5-HT present in the, our body is in our gut intestines. Approximately 90% of the 5-HT is found in the cells that line your gastrointestinal tract. It gets released into our blood circulation and is absorbed by the platelets. Only approximately 10% is produced in our brain. I told you pineal gland is uh, the main um, uh, responsibility uh, to uh, secrete it in the CNS, the shortening. Uh, so these are the foods for your gut microbiome, microbiome for serotonin, right? So gut flora is very important uh, to secrete um, uh, serotonin. So we have to uh, make it healthy. And uh, the microbiomes here, yes, the, the foods which are um, uh, good for that is uh, listed here. Apple, barley, beetroot, berries, blackberries, chicory, citrus, whole potatoes. So this is a list.
wheat, very important, onions, cranberries, garlic, legumes, pasta, etc. And uh, foods that are rich in tryptophan, so that is a, a you know substrate for making the serotonin. These are rich in tryptophan, sunflower seeds, soybeans, oats, wheat, quinoa, and potatoes, milk, cheese, chickpeas, chicken, turkey, beef, chickpeas, and eggs, and cod, salmon. So that uh, now starts with the dopamine. Dopamine is a motivational molecule. Neurotransmitter dopamine is present in high concentration in many parts of the CNS, including the basal nuclei. And that is where it relates with the Parkinsonism. To elevate levels, we have to engage ourselves in activities where we feel happy or relaxed. Whatever feels good to us, we have to do that more and more. Dopamine that is manufactured by neurons in the substantia nigra, pars compacta, travel along the axons to the striatum. That is mesostriatal dopamine system. Dopamine plays a vital role in a wide range of activities and thus many serious conditions are associated with the dysfunction of the dopamine system. I told you Parkinson's disease where the dopamine deficiency is responsible. Characteristics. It's a catecholamine identified by its marker tyrosine or hydroxylase plays a vital role in the neuroendocrine cognitive and motor functions, gets depleted in the Parkinson's disease, I told you already has elevated production in schizophrenia or schizophrenia. As dopamine does not cross blood-brain barrier, L-dopa, the precursor of dopamine which readily crosses blood-brain barrier and so it is a very important agent in the treatment of the Parkinson's disease. Major dopaminergic pathways. Number one is the nigrostriatal pathway. Substantia nigra gets projected to the striatum. Destruction of the dopaminergic nigral neurons causes Parkinsonism. Second number, the pathway is the mesolimbic pathway. Ventral tegmental area gets projected to all the cortical and subcortical components of the limbic system. It is linked to the behavior in schizophrenia or the schizophrenia. And number three is the tubrohypophyseal or tubroinfundibular pathway. Arcuate nucleus of the hypothalamus gets projected to the portal vessel of the infundibulum. Dopamine that is released inhibits the prolactin release from the adenohypophysis. And uh, this is the oxytocin, the love hormone. The hormone oxytocin viso and vasoprostin are manufactured in the nerve cells of the paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei. These hormones get passed along axons together with the carrier proteins known as the neurohypophysins and the get released at the axon terminals. There the hormones get absorbed into the bloodstream in the fenestrated capillaries of posterior lobe of the pituitary gland. <coughs> Oxytocin is synthesized mostly in the paraventricular nucleus Oxytocin acts to uh, stimulate the contraction of the smooth muscles of the uterus and serves to cause contraction of the myoepithelial cells surrounding the alveoli and the ducts of the mammary gland or breast. As the pregnancy nears its end, production of oxytocin is enormous to stimulate labor contractions of the uterus. Afterwards, when the baby suckles the breast, a nerve reflex from the nipple stimulates hypothalamus to synthesize and secrete more of the oxytocin. This enhances contraction of the myoepithelial cells and helps in the expression of milk from breasts. And uh, how to increase oxytocin naturally? Let's discuss how to increase it. There is no food having oxytocin, but these, but that does not matter because oxytocin gets released when we get engaged in caring relationships and there is a loving community around us. Caring relationships, romance, friendship, soft, friendly touch, and the pets, right? Like hugging can increase it and the cuddling. Oxytocin regulation. Oxytocin gets released tonically at a very low level. Enhanced production of oxytocin in hypothalamus is a result of stimuli that include sexual intercourse, 
breast suckling and elevated level of estrogen. In the last endorphins and encephalins, endogenous opioid peptides including endorphin, encephalins and dynorphins. Endorphins is called the runner's hormone. Uh, production increased by cardio exercises, laughter, by watching movies, listening to the music. And endorphins are continued right from the pro opio melanocortin POMC, the precursor of ACTH, adenocorticotropic hormone. These include endorphin, the major endorphin present in the brain. It plays a major role as an endocrine. Endo uh, Endorphinergic neurons are present almost solely in the hypothalamus, pre-mammillary and arcuate nuclei. These neurons get projected to the hypothalamus, nucleus accumbens, mictella, thalamus, septal area, and locus ceruleus, midbrain, and bones. And uh, number two is the encephalins, derived from the pro-encephalin are extensively distributed in uh, numerous opioid uh, peptides present in the highest amounts in the globus pallidus, manufactured in the striatal neurons, which get projected to globus pallidus, present mainly in the local circuits of limbic system and the striatal system. So these encephalins exist together with dopamine, uh, styloquine, GABA, and norepinephrine acts to express pain in the posterior horn of the spinal cord. In the last, this dynorphins are derived from prodynorphin. Generally, these follow the distribution map for the encephalin present in high amounts in the hypothalamus and the amygdala. So that's all for the discussion today. I thank you very much for uh, listening to my uh, this. Um, uh, lecture and th this is the happiness chemical how to hack them this is a summary i told you in detail you can uh, see it after the lecture or going back and by rewinding it and uh, thank you very much goodbye stay tuned for the next lecture coming very soon now